Happy 2021, please be good to us. Hi, welcome back. My name is Twombo and I'm here today to share with you vision boarding 101. What you want to do is do a little bit of journaling. It's important that you're really mindful about the goals that you're setting for the year and to actually think about them. You know, figure out what you want out of life out of the year. And with that, I highly suggest having something underneath the categories of love, health, wealth and happiness. That's how I did my vision board and also how I do my affirmations as well. Number two, I suggest having a main focus for the year, either a main goal, a phrase, an idea, something. To be in the middle of your board and to be the umbrella of everything that you put on there. So last year, and by the way, this is actually last year's vision board. I just ch uh, changed the 2020 obviously to 2021, but I don't have access to a printer so I haven't had a chance to uh, replace any of these, which some, or probably about half of them, will be staying on my board. This picture is of a planter with a plant in it and it has a spout that's pouring into itself and so my focus which was last year and still is this year is essentially pouring into myself investing into myself becoming the best version of myself that I can so I put this lovely picture I just googled it I don't even remember how I stumbled on it but I have that in the middle of my board because that is my focus that was my focus last year and it is my focus this year as well and underneath that photo I do have uh, affirmation and I do have two affirmations on here but I'll get more into it later but in the middle of my board I also have everything is always working out for me this is a chopstick by the way I just grabbed it out of my kitchen drawer this is my laser pointer we're gonna go with that this is my laser pointer we are in class put the phone away or you can be one of those teachers who just sit there and wait for students to stop talking <sighs> shout out to teachers I know that shit has to be rough number three which is for me, one of the most fun parts is to actually search for the photos. And now when you're searching for photos that align with your goals, try to be as specific as you can. Instead of like, oh, I wanna go to you know some beautiful beach this year, try to think about where you'd wanna go. Do you wanna go to Bora Bora, Thailand, you know, Belize? So I would actually Google specific places if it's a place. And then as far as other goals, if you can, which I really suggest you do, edit yourself in pictures. There's three different pictures, actually four different pictures that I have up here. This first one here is my LinkedIn profile. So I have that and I pasted over everything that I took a screenshot of and I put in my goal and the location where I'm located on my LinkedIn and like 500 plus connections, all that good stuff. Everything in here that I pasted my face in or that I edited, I did it in Microsoft Word. You don't need a Photoshop app if you don't have one, that's fine. I literally did this in Microsoft Word and it looks real. This one down here, this is my YouTube homepage and instead of just like let's say oh i want 5000 subscribers this year instead of you know having the youtube logo and 5000 the number 5000 but what i did was took a screenshot of my homepage and then just put that follower number right underneath my name the number i have here it was completely unrealistic for last year but i'll get into that in a little bit this one okay this one is a i actually googled like student loans paid off great lakes or something like that and it actually shows you what pops up after you pay off your student loans completely so as you know took a screenshot of that and instead of the whoever's name was here it said welcome twombo congratulations your student loans with great lakes are paid off and this is a screenshot of a home screen and what it looks like Funny story, sent that to my family chat before they knew what I was doing, and they were like, oh my gosh, congratulations, oh my gosh, I'm so jealous, me, me, me. I was like, hmm, it's a lie, it's just a lie. So yeah, it's really, really realistic, do it, do it, do it, do it. Another thing I suggest using is a site called canva.com, and that site is used a lot for creating YouTube thumbnails, for making business cards, really so much stuff, and it has an effect in that site that allows you to remove the background of your photo so you can literally copy and paste yourself anywhere. As a matter of fact, I think I am I think I am gonna do that this year. Copy and paste myself right here in Thailand. Right here. Right there. 
use canva.com i highly recommend that site it has been very helpful for myself and it can be very helpful in creating your vision board it is a monthly or yearly subscription but 30 day free trial so take advantage of that do a 30 day free trial get as much done and as much out of it as you can and then you can cancel it whenever you want easy peasy uh, lemon squeezy really quick i just want to add that i'm still within that 30 day free trial time frame but i love canva so much i'm just going to continue to use it and another thing, because this is really bothering me, it looks like I'm slouching a lot. And I promise you I'm not. The way that my pants are set up, they're really tight around the waist and they have like this pouchy thing going on. And it's just, it's bothered me so much watching this. So I just want to throw that out there. I promise I'm sitting with pretty decent posture. Number four, when you're setting your goals, be realistic. I believe that there is no dream too big. However, you want to be realistic for what you want to accomplish within that year. When you're thinking about setting those goals, think about how you're going to accomplish or attain whatever it is that you want to as well. So be very realistic. And this is a mistake that I made last year. Six months into 2020 is when I made this board. The numbers that I have on here were just so, so unrealistic. Like. I don't even want to say the numbers. Although somewhere in the future, I do want these numbers to be real numbers. Just keep in mind what number seems doable, realistic for that year. Number five, have some quotes in there or some phrases or some words that you either live by or that you want to become more like, if that makes sense. So like I mentioned in the middle of my board, I had an affirmation and this affirmation is, everything is always working out for me now i have a long 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 list of affirmations that i say on a daily basis so i only chose two of them to slap up on here and that was one that i really really liked and i say to myself every day everything is always working out for me the other one that i have on here is i am enough instead of putting something like confidence which is great it's great to have on your board if that's a goal or if that's what you want more of i think that's wonderful however i chose to go with i am enough which to me translates into confidence because when you know you're enough <laughs> honey i personally suggest and like doing it in an i am affirmation sort of phrase once you get all these pictures and quotes one thing i would suggest is like make it cute make it cute because number six you're going to want to put this somewhere where you're going to see it every single day or put it somewhere where you're going to be very likely to see it almost every single day i think that's also very important my best friend is michael's the craft store called michael's i got everything you see here this board and this board is like a plastic has a like a a plasticky finish to it so peeling these stickers off they peeled off completely clean and then these stickers also michaels they come in like sets of four so there's like four of each number so it's not you're not gonna like have 2021 20, and then be done with the whole entire set and have to throw it in the trash so there's that and then i put cardstock behind these photos just to make it look nice and they have so much stuff at michael's make her cute and back to my number six point put it somewhere where you're gonna see every day and you don't have to consciously be looking at it all the time but like just as long as it's in a room that you're gonna be in i actually leave this one and mine's really big this is a really big vision board <laughs> And I like it that way. I leave this in my kitchen and it's plastered right in the middle of my kitchen. So I'm sitting there waiting for my ramen noodles to boil. I just glance on over at her. Even subconsciously, girl, there is magic working and you don't wanna miss out on it. So yes, I would say frame it. Like make it look cute, make it super permanent. Frame it and hang it up on your wall. Number seven, last and most importantly out of everything that I've said in this video so far, actually put in the work you have to put in the work and you have to push for consistency on whatever it is. If you fail, that's fine. Get your ass on up and try again tomorrow type shit. It's fine, but like you actually have to try. You can't just be sitting on the couch 
ordering your Popeyes, like, oh no, I'm a manifest this snatch waist. Like, it doesn't work like that, guys. It just doesn't. Action is key. A few last things that I do want to add. Whenever you decide to journal and get started on everything, be in a good mood, feel motivated, love yourself, be nice to yourself, and think positively throughout this process. It's really, really amazing, and it's amazing to look back at it at the end of the year, especially if and when you accomplish the things that you've actually put on there, and you can take them off and make new goals. And another thing that isn't specifically vision board related, I just wanted to throw in there is I have, I literally have stacks, stacks of notebooks and I journal all the time, every single day if I can. And it can literally be how you feel, it can be your goals again, it can be affirmations, it can be your gratitudes, it can literally be anything and everything. I highly, highly encourage you guys to journal as much as you can. And on top of that, and honestly the last thing I will say for real for real, is affirmations. You guys should do affirmations every single day. Come up with something, it, it can even be like two things or even one thing that you say to yourself every day. That has been life changing for me. I, I, I see myself differently, I think of myself differently since I've been doing them and I've been doing them for years. That's all I got for you guys. If there's anything else that I have forgotten, I'll throw it in the description below. Otherwise, that is Vision Boarding 101. Happy 2021. Please be good to us. Bye guys.